How do? Ho, 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 Horace. Merry Christmas from Horace. From Steve Broad, 2016. It's an unofficial Horace game that is freely distributed. If you've paid for this game, A, you're a mug, B, you've been ripped off, and C, this game is free. Download it for free over at Steve Broad's website. Go and get it now. Go back and get your money back and go and get it from Steve Broad's website for free. Now, Baza H and myself are playing this at the same time. I'm reviewing this for flickeringmyth.com, my full review and short interview with Steve Broad. Oh, that goes dead straight away. Uh, my <laughs> short interview with Steve Broad is over at flickeringmyth.com. The link's in the description below. So go and have a look at the full review and the short interview with Steve Broad over at flickeringmyth.com. Uh, as I said, Baza H is playing it also, uh, and both Baza H and I have been playing this game secretly, so sh secretly, for some time, because we've been emailing Steve Broad with odds and sods that we think would look great, or bits he should tweak here and there. We've technically been making Steve's life a living hell for the past two months or so, by saying change this, or make this happen, or do this, but this is a new Horace game. It's a new game in the Horace chain of games, and I love it. Uh, the aim of the game, as you've probably seen as I've been wittering on, is that Santa's uh, not kept control of his sack, and presents have strewn, have been strewn, all across the world. Well, the, the world being Horace's short world, and it's up to him to collect the gifts and get home. Not the, but not the gifs, not the animated things what people like to post. The gifts, got TAs at the end. Get the gifts and make his way home. However, the swines, I'm not saying the B word, which I normally like to say. Oh, he's just only collect a bell there. The bells give you special, uh, can do nice things. You collect these baubles here, watch this. Don't have to collect the presents if you collect the baubles. You can go to the next level. Oh, watch the snow. Watch this. Watch, watch. You slip on your arse when it's snowing. <laughs> I love that. Uh, so you collect the presents. Collect ten presents in the time limit, which is a minute. You progress to the next level. However, each level, the enemies come on thick and fast. So you've already seen a couple of the enemies. This includes the parky. I believe he's stalking us. Look. And there's a spider from Horace and the Spiders. Look at it. Undulating as it goes along. Creepy little swine. But we've got numerous enemies like from uh, Hungry Horace. Uh, not, you have yet to see the ambulance. If the ambulance came on from Horace Go Skiing, I would freak. Literally would. Uh, oh, there's a bell, there's a bell. Oh, I've missed it. The bells can also do swine-like things. Oh, oh, fell off the train. The bell, oh, oh, lucky I had my shield on then to stop that snowball from getting me. The bells can always also do swine like things, like it can drop all the presents and you don't get any of them. Uh, but you know, it's a bell, it can do what it wants. So, the game of the game, collect 10 presents. Oh, missed the bell again. Collect 10 presents, progress to the next level. It's that simple. Except as it gets further and further into the game, enemies come faster. I got a double kill before. Two enemies with one drop, but there's no double kill like announcement. It's not Unreal Tournament 99. I just got a sense of self achievement, so that's always a good bonus. Yes, it's an excellent addition to Horace Goes. That Horace Goes whatever. Horace Hungry Horace. Oh, here's another mad. What is it? Oh, baubles, right. This will get me to the next level. If I can get all the baubles before they, oh, and they disappear like that, you'll notice. Well, not, next level. It's, an, it's a perfect addition. Uh, there's no uh, shiny graphics. Not, I'm not knocking Steve there. There's no shiny uh, Mojang Twins graphics. I'm not knocking the Mojang Twins there, to be brutally honest with you. But what does this uh, thing do? Let's have a look. Oh, there's nothing on the screen to show me. Uh, it's It's got that nice uh, William Tang 
sort of William Tang. Am I pronouncing that right? I'm sure I am. Uh, feel to it. Uh, a nice oh, I the train. Nice uh, 1980s style Horace feel to it. It's really nostalgic. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Truly am. Brilliant. It's got a glorious little colour clash going to it. And I love the fact that when it's snowing, Oris slips on his arse too. I can't tell you how much I'm enjoying this. It's like finding a hidden Horace game on a cassette that nobody's told you about. Like Melbourne House and Sinclair Research never released it. And there it is on this master tape. And I'm playing it. And you can all play it. As soon as you go, follow the link. <gasps> Bell, what does this prize do? Ah, oh, see? It dropped the present. Oh, no more lives. Game over, man. Game over. See, I've got my name on the top. And Baz is just underneath me. Don't forget, go and watch Baz's channel and watch him play it. And don't pay for this game, because it's free on Steve's website. And the link's in the description. And remember... Pop across to flickeringmyth.com to read the full review and enjoy it there. Because you should. Also, I'll look at Steve's at words because I've done a tiny interview too. So, TTFN, ta ta for now. Cheerio and bye bye. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. I've got my name on. I am Ace.